I've just finished wearing the new Starkey Edge AI for seven days. In this video, I'm gonna go over the main pros and cons that I found. And I've been wearing a lot of hearing aids recently. If you wanna see how the Edge AI stacks up to the other hearing aids that I've worn, specifically Phonak Adeo Sphere and Oticon Intent, subscribe to the channel, that video is coming in a week or so. Okay, I've been wearing the Edge AI 24 M Rick R model. It's our best-selling version of Edge AI. This is the chestnut color, but you can see all colors and my much longer review of these hearing aids on our website here. So let's start with what I like because that'll provide some context for some of the stuff that I didn't like. I love the design. When you consider all the hearing aids that are comparable to this, uh, so hearing aids that have a deep neural network are rechargeable with Bluetooth, this is the smallest and lightest hearing aid in its class. It really hides behind the ear nicely. No one noticed when I was wearing these. It has excellent battery life. Again, best in class. This hearing aid lasts over 40 hours on a single charge. No comparable hearing aid comes close to that. The lowest I ever saw my battery get after accidentally leaving the hearing aids on overnight was 40%. It has Bluetooth, LE Audio, and AuraCast. That means it's future-proofed with the next generation of Bluetooth. Now, you're probably not gonna benefit from this yet because hardly any phones have Bluetooth LE Audio. Like, my iPhone doesn't. Um, I think a couple Pixel phones do, a couple Samsung phones do. But as new devices roll onto the market, they will be able to connect and stream to Edge AI using that new protocol, and it's supposed to be much improved over the existing made for iPhone specification, specifically the sound quality. Sound quality isn't good on the MFI specification with any hearing aids. Same thing's true with AuraCast. You probably won't be able to use this yet because it requires having Bluetooth LE audio in your phone and it requires that venues have an AuraCast broadcaster. And this tech is still rolling out. In the future, AuraCast will let you stream wireless audio from venues straight into your hearing aids. So if you can imagine like someone at a pulpit at a church or something speaking, their voice could stream right uh, through your hearing aids. And there's a lot of applications for this. I love how quiet these hearing aids are. All hearing aids have a bit of circuit noise or machine noise. That's a white noise generated from the electronic components inside the hearing aids. This is something that bothers me with almost all hearing aids and it didn't with these. It was super subtle, quiet enough that if I wore these in my quiet office here, it didn't bother me at all. The other thing that I really liked about these was there was minimal echo. A lot of hearing aids, when you talk, you hear your voice booming back at you through the hearing aids. It's an echo. Um, that wasn't too bad with these. I could totally tolerate it. And finally, what you're probably buying this hearing aid for, it does a really good job in noise. Now my hearing is pretty much normal. It's almost perfect actually. I have a little bit of high frequency loss, enough that when I get into a noisy place like a restaurant, if the waiter doesn't look at me and enunciate, I'm gonna be guessing a bit at what they're saying. Edge AI has a deep neural network in it, and for the first time ever in a Starkey hearing aid, it is always on, it's always running. And that means that these hearing aids are using state-of-the-art tech to separate speech from background noise. And you guys, it really works. If you want the technical details of how it works, read that complete review that I did. But when you use Edge AI, and particularly when you activate Edge Mode Plus, which is like the deep neural network processing on steroids, there is a really clear difference between speech and background noise. I'm not kidding you, I wore these in a restaurant with over 80 decibels of noise. That's a really loud restaurant, held a conversation perfectly. This deep neural network stuff is not hype. All manufacturers are racing to add it to their hearing aids. Starkey was the first company ever to do it in 2020, so they've really got a handle on this stuff by now. Now, some things that I don't like. That Edge Mode Plus feature that I just talked about, you're probably gonna wanna use it a lot. I know I did. And what's not great about that is you always have to turn the feature on with a button on your hearing aid or through Starkey's app. Um, I wish that when the hearing aid started up, you could just have edge mode plus automatically on, like if you could adjust the settings or something. Not a big deal, but would be nice to have. Next thing I didn't like, look, I love the sleek design of this hearing aid, but there is only one button on it. So if you're someone that likes a lot of control over your hearing aids, because there's only one button, there's only so much that you can do from that button, and that means you're gonna have to use the My Starkey app sometimes. Some features just didn't work very well. These hearing aids have a tap control feature that you can use, which gives you a little bit more control over the hearing aid instead of just using the push button. Um, but I found that it only worked reliably for me maybe 20% of the time. Um, there's also a smart assist feature in the hearing aid where you can talk to the hearing aid, like you can do a double tap uh, if it works, uh, or just push the button and say like, hey, change the volume. Uh, but I found that that only worked for me when I already had the app open on my phone in front of me. And at that point, it's like, why not just do the adjustment through the app? Um, the voice that talks back to you through that feature is pretty robotic sounding. So the smart assist feature needs some work, 
but has major, major promise for the future. And I'm glad Starkey is working on having a generative AI voice helper in the hearing aids. When this feature is ironed out, it is gonna be really slick. Finally, I wish there was an LED indicator light on the hearing aid. Every other competitor to hearing aid has an LED light because they're helpful. It's nice to have that like visual confirmation that things are happening when you expect they should be like turning them off or turning them on. Bottom line, should you buy it? Strong, strong yes. I've worn Edge AI for the past week, uh, and for the previous two weeks, I wore Phonak Audiosphere and Oticon Intent. Edge AI hearing aids really compare well to those, and I'm gonna discuss this more in my review comparing these three models, so subscribe to that. But in a lot of categories, the Edge AI was my favorite of the three products. When you consider how good it is in noise, the battery life, the size, I mean, it is over 100% smaller than the Phonak Audeo Sphere Infineo. It is really hard to go wrong with the Emric R style. By a long shot, this is my favorite Starkey hearing aid I've ever tried. Really easy to give this hearing aid a big stamp of approval. If you wanna try it out at amazing prices with local care included, just visit our website at ziphearing.com. Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one.